Okay, just a short video uh, for those people who haven't already seen this kind of thing before. Um, so the idea is, is to try to, there are kits that people make because there are other people using these uh, pouch A123s, um, lithium ion phosphate cells, um, to try to make it easier and reduce the fabrication time for the individual person by bringing stuff that's prefabricated. One of the first big time savers is these two little pieces. So you have the aluminum clamping blocks that are already cut to size, already pre-drilled, and already pre-tapped. So that alone is an enormous time saver. Now the other thing you may have noticed that if you saw like the way Mike built his is that after he put those on, he then had a, uh, a board um, that went on the, on the front to, uh, to attach. Um, now this incorporates the board and these clamping things all together into one piece, and then you have a cut with slots and so forth that fits right over top of the whole thing. So again, all of that saves the fabrication time of the person trying to put everything together. Now this kit is also nice because um, you have the option of either using these uh, copper terminals for the ends of the battery pack, or you can do these uh, threaded brass and aluminum ones. The other thing that this does is that on the back side you have the traces, so your balancing battery management monitoring system is already here to the taps and it comes with the, uh, the pins that you can put onto wires so that that part is already done to, to help you get it done. It'll come with your blocks and your tap screws and all that kind of stuff so that makes it nice and easy. And this one has been, and this is a uh, 24 cell by the way, um, they, it's been tested up to um, over 210 amps um, with no real issues. So um, that's, that's nice, it's durable. And it's you know proven itself from other people who use it in bicycle app in electric bicycle application, which have some relatively um, hitting potholes and so forth. So it's going to have some strain and so forth in that sense. Now another fabrication kit that you will find out there is this kind. Um, the advantage of this kind is that it's modular. You have these dovetail connections, which allow you to connect as many in series as you like and as many in parallel as you like. Which is the one advantage that has because this comes as one set. 24 cells, you're done, it's fixed. Now, that having been said, if you get frustrated or you're just not a little patient, you know, you're not patient enough in taking the uh, dovetail um, connections apart, this is what will happen. It will, the, the, uh, the material will snap. It is not very strong, um, so it won't take that. Um, the other issues are that it also flexes a bit more than that one does. Um, which is consideration for the back side of the clamping, and this material here is not as thick as the clamping bars used there. Um, so this one, I would say, and um, you also don't have the center to keep the uh, clamp pressure across the even. So because of that, I would say that this one, if you're going to be maybe about a third of the amps of this one, so um, well that one has been tested, you know, to over 210 amps. If you're going up, you know, 60 or 70 amps, this one will probably be fine too. Um, but those are some other considerations, and it doesn't come with the cover. It doesn't come with your battery connection terminals. So there are some disadvantages of it. The other one that is, you know, it may work for some other project, but it won't work for my insight is the width. These are both for 20, 24 cells, but you'll notice this one is much wider. It, that extra width makes it unusable for my application, even if I didn't have a problem with the lower amperage and so forth, which itself also would be a deal breaker for my application because I need higher amps and being able to do over 210 when I only will need 100 is a nice safety buffer and it won't be a problem.